Y'all, I want to tell you what I did today. Okay, so this is what's so exciting about all of this, right? Ooh, don't go out. Go out. Eee. Okay, so today is my birthday. And last night I did kind of a ritual, little meditative kind of thing because I'm manifesting some stuff. So I just wanted to make sure that I had all of my ducks in a row. I knew I had to file a couple things before, like before I could put this into the works, right? Like go ahead and put your intentions into it and then, you know, let it, let it become an actual thing. So my intentions were to do the UCC one because I know I have to file that with the, what is it? The uh, circuit court and the comptroller. And I love the smell of payload stick, y'all. It smells so woodsy. So woodsy. But I knew I had to do that before I could do anything because they have to, they have to have record of like my stuff too, right? And then they can actually go back and check it to see because my filing today cost me $86. I was like, holy God, like why? Whatever, whatever. I was going to pay it anyway because I knew that I had to file this. So my UCC1 commercial lien, it was on myself as the debtor, but then also as the, the, the creditor, right? So I did the UCC1 also because I'm about to get rid of my driver's license and my car tag. Um, the car tag, I don't want to be in their jurisdiction anymore. So tonight I'm going to order my private tags and then from there, um, you know, I'll be, I'll be in the private. I won't have to pay car auto insurance or anything like that. This is my bond. You guys, I don't want to show it to, to you too much, but it's for $5 million. So if I wreck into you or if you wreck into me, then I can cover the cost and I can cover like all the things, right? Because I don't, I don't want to accidentally run into you and then like not be able to pay for your, for the damage, you know? So the assured, the surety bond is going to help with that. The other thing that I listed today, because it was also the comptroller, so I'm going to have some communication with him too, but I also listed my DOT number, and this is why I think that it costs so much, because I listed several, a lot of things. I listed a lot of things, and um, $86 later. It's fine. Like, it's all, it's all worth it in the end, but hold on. I'm about to catch my whole self on fire. Sorry, hold on. So I listed the DOT number and then I also listed my fee schedule. The fee schedule is, remember I went over that the last time. The fee schedule is if they pulled you over or if they asked you for your name or your social, not your social necessarily, but your driver's license because that have, has information on it too. And, um, you know, I, I wanted to make sure that I had that filed even in Florida, because you, you guys know I used to live in Georgia. I moved down here. I wanted to start like a new filing, like regist registration, maybe, I don't know. Like a, like a, I wanted to be able to file it with Florida. So I gave my DOT number to have that on file. Hey, Melissa, to have that on file so that if I do get pulled over or anything like that, it's already going to be listed with the clerk of court, with the circuit court, with the comptroller, like all the things, my information is now in the computer, right? So I gave the DOT and I also put the DOT number on my private tag. And then I also listed my fee schedule in case I do get pulled over. I didn't list my foreign trans, what is it? Flo foreign trust grantor number. And then I didn't list my my estate number and that kind of thing. That's, that's just personal records. Now, um, the private auto insurance, um, security bond. I'm really scared. I'm going to catch myself on fire. Like if I hope it doesn't fall over, um, but it's worth 5 million. And then I also listed my, uh, state of Florida UCC one commercial lien. And that is, uh, I want to say it's for a, a billion. Hold 
one. Yeah. One billion US credits. It's credits. It's not money. It's not, don't ever think in fiat. Fiat is fake. It's almost like it's monopoly money. You can't pay a debt with a debt, right? So I put in for a billion dollars on my UCC one. And then that way, if anything comes up or anything, you know, I'm first in line to get any of that. So what I did today, you guys, was when I went down there and I did this, right? Because I had to drive over to Destin. Hey, Chris, I had to drive over to Destin. Well, went across the little bridge. I went to the courthouse, sat there, filed my stuff, paid my dues. And then on the way back, now, let me tell you this too. Like on the way there, I saw her. I saw her and I was like, Ooh, she's sexy. Right. Kept going, went to the courthouse. And then when on my way back, I saw her again and I was like, you know what? I whipped a Yui. I went into the dealership. It's actually the BMW dealership. And, um, old girl was sitting out the end. Like, why are you there? You know, like you're kind of out of place because this is a BMW dealership, but you need to be taken home. Right. So I went to inside, I spoke to the sales manager, or I went up to the desk or whatever. I acted like I was looking at other stuff, but I wasn't. I was like a beeline to go talk to somebody. But I, wanted, I didn't want to come across so, you know, like, I know what I'm here for. <laughs> I want that Corvette, right? So, and she's beautiful, y'all. Like she, I didn't even know how to open her door. Like I just kind of stood there like, I don't know, there's no handles, there's no like little clippy thing, nothing. I had nothing to go off of, so I just kind of stood there. And I told the salesman, I said, uh, I don't know how to open her. <laughs> I really don't. So it is a 2020 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray that I, um, I test drove today. And it's interesting when she, they pulled the Carfax because he sent me the sum of all charges uh, to my email. So I'm gonna print that off. But when I went over all of her stuff, she was actually purchased in Georgia, right? But get this, and you guys know with my witchy self that I'm all about numbers and patterns and all that kind of stuff. She was bought on 11.11 11 in 2020. So I was like, hell yeah, look at you, you're so cute. Um, she was uh, first sold on Halloween in Commerce, Georgia, and everything looks Gucci. Like she has all of her stuff, the manufacturer and emission uh, recall is issued, all that, I thought it said issues. I was like, whoa, no, it's issued. But yeah, so she's sitting there all alone by her lonesome at the Mercedes Benz um, place. No, that's where it was actually originally sold. The car was originally vehicle sold and she only had like 2,041 miles on it. And then now she's down at BMW and I just don't feel like she needs to be there. I feel like she needs to be with me. So I took her ass for a spin and y'all, y'all, you just don't even know. Like I, I was so, I was so sweaty. Number one, because like my hands were getting sweaty because I was nervous to drive her. Right. Cause I was just like, you are absolutely amazing. And I feel like you need to come home with me. This is beautiful. And I love stingrays. And then on top of it, the, I'm trying to think of what he said the color was. It's something, something matrix, which was right there with me. Da, da, da. It was just amazing. It, I don't know. I can't find the, the color. Y'all, she's beautiful. But it was something, I don't know, something matrix. It doesn't have what it is, but she originated in Georgia. So I have like the sum of all, right? To walk out this door right now, how much would this car be? And I think it was like 86, which isn't bad for 2022, considering that the miles, there was only last, last reported odometer reading was like 2,105. Um, but it's exciting because I just filed my UCC one 
And then I'm gonna go to, well, tonight I'll work on the promissory note. I have a couple errands that I need to run tomorrow. I gotta, gotta mail off some stuff. Once I got home, like I ran by the store to get uh, dog food, came back home and, um, you know, I was like, forget it. I'll just, I'll go out in about tomorrow. But I'm gonna draw up my promissory note and then I'm gonna take it to the bank because I also need to notarize a couple things. And we'll see, we will see. Because the guy said, you know, are you gonna need financing? And I said, no. I'm like, first of all, I, I didn't say this to him, but I was thinking, first of all, nobody needs financing because we all have plethora of credits, plethora, okay? We, we, don't, we shouldn't even be paying for anything in fiat at all, at all. Because you can't pay debt with a debt. So why am I even using your monopoly, monopoly money? And here's the thing, like when they asked me for my um, driver's license, I kind of was leery because I'm like, I know you're about to get some money out of, out of the back of, back of that. But that's okay. We're gonna, when I go back with the promissory note, no, the bank will have the promissory note. And then I don't know how that works. Do they cut me a check? Do they cut the dealership a check? You know that kind of stuff, and then I'm gonna go ahead and talk to the manager about like securitize. Don't don't securitize my driver's license. Now it's almost like with with a cop or a police officer or whatever. When they ask you for your driver's license, you're contracting with them, right? So the guy that took me on a little spin around the block, it was fabulous. I was so scared to drive it too because she gets up and goes like. I barely pushed the pedal and we both like <laughs> went back like doof, little, little much, sorry, you know, and then I wanted to make sure that I knew how to brake properly, you know, like this is almost a hundred thousand dollar car, you know, and I'm just like, please, let's not wreck this. Don't wreck this. Don't wreck this. So I'll draw up my promissory to note tonight, take it to the bank and then we'll see from there. Now you guys. I want you to like literally understand, grasp this. If all bills are prepaid, right? They're all prepaid and everything that you're getting in the mail and everything that, you know, like, like your, um, your statement, it's already been paid for, right? The top portion of it is a bond. The bottom portion of it is, um, a, a remittance coupon, or you can call it a debt security, right? because it is debt, but it's already been paid for. But even with that, it's like, they can re-securitize that on the back end of it, right? So that's why I was kind of like, when he asked me for my driver's license, because he was like, you know, can I have your driver's license just to make sure that you have insurance, which was kind of interesting, because I'm like, does that, what that does? Like, if I give you my driver's license, can you tell if I have insurance or not? Like. I didn't think that that was connected to that, but then again, maybe because like police officers can pull, you know, put that information in and see if you have insurance. I don't know. I don't know, but I didn't question him because I wanted to take her for a drive. I wanted to spin her around the block. And, um, you know, I was going like down here in Florida because it is kind of touristy. Um, you know, I was, I was actually in Destin. I don't live in Destin. I live outside, um, of the city limits and, uh, I don't know. It was just, you know, sorry, I have so much, so much going through my head, but the thing is, is that once I take that promissory note to the bank, like I just did a whole snap on it because I was like, you guys, I, I test drove it, took her around the block. I'll write my promissory note tonight and then take her, take it to the bank and see, but you guys, please educate yourself on this kind of stuff because a lot is getting done. A lot of people are getting their millions. And I actually just went on with our group. I went on, um, the website and just put in for another 5 million. So I'm like, okay, when this shit hits, like, if you don't ever see me on Facebook again, just know that this shit hit. <laughs> I will be done not doing any of this with y'all. So, you know, and then I think about, like, I had to walk this this whole little, you know, like, this, this journey, this portion of the journey. I had to walk it alone because my brain has been on this Sesta K Trust stuff since I divorced Satan you know, a year, uh, it's been more than a year now. It was literally on 666. So it's when my final decree, decree happened. 
But yeah, so you guys, please look into this. Please, for the love of everything holy. All of your bills are already prepaid. All of them. If you look at it, if you look at your bill at the bottom of it, there is nothing that is, usually you would see it in red, or usually you would see like a little, uh, like a subtraction and then, right? You would see something like that. It's not, it's not. So you have to endorse it properly and send it back. Not necessarily to the people, the peasants, the lower people. And I'm not saying peasants as if they're like beneath me, but in the big scheme of things, when I'm working with the private side, they're not on the private side, so they don't know, just like I didn't know, just like some of you guys don't know, you know? So when you move over to the private side is when you can use your credits and you can use your securities and you can, you, you know, there's, there's a lady that just got her house free. And I, I don't, when I, when I say that to like somebody on the private side, they understand that that free means that they got it through the securities. They had to, you know, fill out a couple stuff, you know, a couple forms, that kind of thing, print out your intentions, like write your intentions of what you're going to do, your promissory note, and then you have to submit it, right? So the private side understands that when I say that bitch got her house for free, like 1.5 million, right? But then if I say it to somebody in, on the public side, they're like, what's free mean? What's free, you know, and I'm just, I, I, I don't know. The, the, the more that I get down the rabbit hole and then I have people coming to me now going, help me or do this, or can you help me get a house? Or can you help me get a, a, a free car basically? And that kind of stuff, I, I, I'm, I'm almost reluctant to help because number one, I don't know what their intentions are gonna be with that. Like, are they just using me for my knowledge, you know? Or are these people, have they been like complete asshats to me in the past, but now they're coming back like, oh shit, you know, I need something else from her. So let me, let me contact her, you know? Cause like even, even when the kids were getting older or, or growing up, you know, like I, I would have friends that I thought were really my friends, but then that we would have a fallen out or I found out they were talking shit about me or I found out that like they were doing me dirty and I'd cut them off. Well, I've noticed now some of those people are trickling back in. Hey, girl, you know, happy birthday. And I'm like, uh-uh, <laughs> uh-uh, you can happy birthday me, yeah, you know. But even then, like, I don't really celebrate my birthday because that's a spell. That's an age spell, and I don't want to age like that. I'm 50. I want to stay as young looking as I possibly can. So, you know, when, when you're dealing with, when you're starting to move on the, the private side, and then now you have these past relationships that are coming up, you know, when you're healing and you're doing that kind of stuff, you're kind of thinking, okay, you know, I forgive them. You know, they were just playing out their storyline just as I was too, but you had to cut off that energy at some point, you know, so I've cut it off. But now if you notice, like when you start to go into the public side, you may notice that people are starting to kind of come back in your life a little bit. You know, they're, they're kind of wondering, wondering, what are you doing? You know? where I've laid low for like a year now, trying to study this, trying to figure out what contract law is, trying to figure out what trust law is, and I'm starting to put all this stuff into place for myself and then start to funnel those securities down through either the trust, like the account, or like a TDA account, the, the treasury direct account. So it's just exciting because now I'm like really right here with this 2020 Corvette, Stingray Corvette, and it just, I don't know, it just brings so much damn joy to my little little butterfly heart. Um, I was talking to the girls in the group chat, um, you know, because I, I do like the color, but I've always wanted butterfly doors that, that come up like this. <laughs> they go like that. And I'm wondering, I'm like, ooh, I wonder if, you know, because the car I think was like 86000 Maybe could I go over a little bit because I want to be able to pay for certain things or maybe pay for like a gas card for the year, a couple years, shit, you know, you know, like give me like a certain amount on a gas card. You know, it's, it's not that, you know, everything has to be ledgered on their side too, because it's not like they're just going to give you free money. It's not, or credits or securities, proceeds, interest, whatever you're talking about. But, um, you know, you can ask for that. You can ask for like, hey, you know, could you put like three grand on a credit card or on a, on a gas card for me? 
Um, you know, cause again, you want to approach them with clean hands. You don't want to be any sneaky snake, nothing like that. You want to make sure that your intentions are pure. So tonight, whenever I do my promissory note, I'm also going to, going to write my intention note to the dealership of what I'm asking for. So even if the car was 86,000, I may round it up to like, can I go ahead and do 90 and then like get a gas card or, you know, that kind of stuff, oil maintenance, things like that. Can I go ahead and do that? Um, you know, also as part of it in the sum of all charges and, and see what I get. All you can do is ask. And a lot of people are scared to ask those questions. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not because when I was coming back from the courthouse to record my things, I whipped that Yui so I was like, Grrr. she was so pretty just sitting there. And it's a BMW lot, so she's sitting over on the side. And I'm like, why are you sitting there? Like, you should be in the showroom, you know? Mm -mm. She was on the side. And I, actually, when I, when I um, asked about her, I said, is that somebody's car? You know, because I was thinking maybe it's somebody's car and they're here to um, look at another car too. You know, but mm -mm, it wasn't anybody's car. It's going to be my car. So, I don't know. It's just exciting. When, when you get down these rabbit holes and you start to realize that your mortgage is illegal and your lease is illegal and your car note is illegal, you know, just from some of the UCC codes on Cornell University is when you realize, like, your college education that you paid for is illegal. You know, like, my, my daughter, my youngest daughter graduated from ABAC. ABAC is in Georgia. It's Abraham Baldwin agricultural college, I think, C, C at the end. Um, and I would love to take care of that, you know, just go ahead and fill out my papers and send them in. And then she would, wouldn't have to pay that back. Cause it's fraud. <laughs> it's already been paid for. It's fraud. So, um, but we'll see if that ever happens. I'm not going to initiate that because, 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 because. So, I'll take you along my journeys. That's kind of what I'm up to today is writing the promissory note. Um, I told this, well, he looked, the salesman looked at my driver's license. He was like, your birthday's today. And I was like, yeah. And he was like, what are you doing for it? And I was like, I'm, I'm coming to get, <laughs> I'm coming to get this Stingray Corvette. What are you talking about? You know? And, um, he was like, are you going to go do anything? I said, no, I don't celebrate my birthday like that. I, I, that's an age spell and I don't want to be looking any agier than I have to, you know, like don't sing the happy, happy birthday and this is your special day. No, <laughs> it is my special day, but don't, don't do any of that. So anyway, that is what I have been up to. It's so exciting. The private side is very exciting, but you guys can also do that. You have to study. There has to be reason to your rhyme, rhyme to your reason. Um, everything starts to fall into place. I know in our group, our group is real quick. We do processes real quick that I'm not even ready for because like if I'm working on one process and then all of a sudden like say that's Monday, I'm working on this process and then now Tuesday comes around, I'm still working on it, but then the group is like, hey, let's do this. You know, I don't want to fall behind within the group because I want, we'll walk each other through it. Like, okay, well, what did you put for that? Well, how, how, how much did we add for this? One million? Okay, it's fine. Let's do one, you know? Um... And then I have to come back to some of my processes because I feel like I, I just kind of leave them to the wayside because I'm working on so many other little processes. But um, at this point, I love you guys. Let me know if I can help you. Um, if I don't respond, um, yeah, see, I sent, I sent it to uh, a friend of mine, the Corvette, and y'all, it's even a pretty color. It's almost like it's white, but then it's a little bit gray but not gray, but not white. Do you follow that? So I love you guys and I'll always meet you on the flip side.